Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, and I'm going to tell you the story of Saint Teresa of Lisso, right here. Subscribe to my channel to see more videos and new updates. See you soon. Bye bye. Saint Teresa was born to Saint Louis Martin, a watch a watchmaker, and and Saint Zaligurin, a lace maker. On January 2nd, 1873, in Alicante, France. She was the youngest of nine children. However, only five girls survived. Louis and Zelie were very prayerful and taught the girls to love Jesus. All of them became nuns. The couple, the couple Saint Louis and Saint Zelie, were canonized in 2015. Here we go. Teresa lost her mother when she was just four years old. Her father, re her father relocated the family to Lisio and rented a house there. Mary, the eldest girl, eldest girl, looked after the house, looked after the house, while Pauline, the second child, looked after the three younger ones. Teresa and Celine were like friends. In fact, when she was bullied in school and returned home, it was Celine who consoled her, being good at studies. Teresa learned all her lessons well, all her lessons well. Teresa learned all her lessons well. Pauline was like a mother to Teresa. So when so when Pauline joined the convent, Teresa missed her a lot and would often cry. But on Christmas night that year, little Teresa received a special grace from baby Jesus and she became strong. Therefore she was called Little Teresa of Child Jesus. Teresa loved Jesus. When she received her first Holy Communion, Teresa told Jesus, I love you and I give myself to you forever. Teresa grew up to a, to a <coughs> Teresa grew up to be a very sensible girl who loved to pray and do things for others. She was drawn to pray for sinners, although her father tried to keep newspapers out of the house. She came to none of the hard hearted killer heart she came to none of the hard hearted killer Henry Pranzini who, who was to be executed in eighteen eighty seven. Teresa prayed Teresa prayed for his last minute conversion. It was reported later in the newspaper that at the last minute Henry Pranzini grabbed a crucifix and kissed the image of Jesus three times Henry Prazini Henry Prazini grabbed a crucifix and kissed the image of Jesus three times Teresa's prayers were answered at the age of 14 Teresa too wanted to become a Carmelite nun like her sisters but she was too young the bishop was hesitant to give this young girl his permission so Teresa, accompanied by her father, went to Vatican to personally petition the Pope. But the Pope said, Well, my child, do what the superiors decide. She was undoubtedly disappointed. How providentially, however, scarcely a year later, her heart's desire was fulfilled. She got the permission to join her two sisters in the Carmelite convent of Lisio. After her father's death, Celine to join the convent. Teresa's life, Teresa's life in the convent was far from easy. When she was put to work with her sisters, she would say that she had come for Jesus and not for her sisters, not for her sisters, and wanted to remain small and insignificant. Insignificant, young as she was. Teresa was mature and serene. There was a particular sister who disliked Teresa to the core. She would spill water over Teresa often while washing pots and pans. But Teresa bore it with a smile and never complained. And never complained. She would say, I am a very little soul who can offer only very little things to the Lord. Lord. Okay. One night. One night. Teresa coughed blood. She knew something was wrong. Indeed, it was confirmed that Teresa was. <clears throat> it was confirmed that Teresa had contracted tuberculosis, an illness that had no cure in those days. 
an illness that had no cure in those days. But Teresa kept it a secret and went about with a smile. Finally, she could no. Finally, she could no longer kept keep it keep it a secret as she grew to be very ill. So she had to be confined to the convent instead of going to Africa or China as a missionary. She wrote letters of she wrote letters of encouragement to the sisters there. When she became bedridden, Teresa was encouraged by the elder nuns to write down her way of spiritual practice. She wrote her autobiography biography auto, she wrote her autobiography, The Story of a Soul and and few other books that explained her little way when her sufferings and trials intensified <sighs> when her sufferings and trials intensified Teresa accepted them with patience on her deathbed she looked at the crucifix and said oh I love him my god I love you then she breathed her last then she breathed her last on September 30th, 1897, she was only 24 years old. She was only 24. She was only 24 years old. Pope Pius XI, okay, Pope Pius XI beatified her on 29th April 1923, and on 17th on and on 17th May 1925, he proclaimed her a saint. Her feast is on October 1st and she is the patron saint of the missions. I hope you everybody I'll be seeing my brand new video. Tomorrow I'm gonna be uploading a Carmelite, another Carmelite nun, virgin and mother that is Saint Edith Stein or Saint Teresa Benedicta of the Cross. Tomorrow, see you soon. Bye bye.